What's up guys, welcome to a new Final Cut tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can delete your render files, which is a pretty useful process if, for example, your project is too slow. Sometimes if you delete your render files and render them from the beginning, your project is fast again. Or if you finish the project and suddenly your hard drive gets full, you just have to navigate to your render files and delete them because you don't need the project and you don't need the pre-renders and they can get pretty huge. Sometimes it's even over 100 gigabytes for a like 10 minute video. So you should delete them on a regular basis just to free up some space on your hard drive if you don't need them. But if you need them, then don't delete the render files because it takes some time to render them from the beginning. But let's just delete them render files. Okay, so first you have to navigate to your library, which is at the point where you saved it. I always save my libraries in the files folder in my project folder. If you want to know how I organize my projects, you can click right up here. Or if you don't save the libraries manually in your project folder, I think they are saved in the movies folder on your Mac. But anyways, let's just navigate to your libraries folder. For example, this is the folder of the library of this tutorial. So. Inception. Then once you navigate it to the folder, you have to do a right click or if you have the trackpad just with two fingers and then go to show package contents, which opens the library. Then click on the folder that is called just like the project. Go to render files, high quality media. And since I just imported one video to create the render files folder, otherwise you wouldn't have a render files folder. It's just this one letter digit folder. But if you have several videos in your project and you edit it for a long time, have some effects on it, this high quality media folder will be pretty full. So you just have to click command A, which just selects one thing for me, and then click on move to bin and then clear out the bin. And that's already how you delete your render files. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can find more Final Cut tutorials right here in the playlist. You can find the last two Final Cut tutorials right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye!